everyone, it's Kiwi here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. If you've been around for a number of years, you will probably know my absolute nemesis of a fragrance oil is Dragon's Blood. I've done a couple of videos of trying to make a Dragon's Blood soap and every time I end up just doing nothing but laughing because otherwise I would just cry. For whatever reason, Dragon's Blood absolutely hates my soap recipe and it moves so fast that it usually sets up within 30 seconds of adding that fragrance oil into absolutely solid soap. Well, I think I have finally worked out how to tame that dragon and today I'm gonna to take you along and show you a much more successful way of making Dragon's Blood using my soap recipe. Let's go. Okay, so we are ready to start pouring into the mold. I've split it out for my colors. In this one, I've got some really red mica and this one is some eminence. And in here, I put some elusive and some black oxide. Now, the way in which I have learned to tame the dragon is, and still get swirls, I should say, is to not put any fragrance into my color like this. And we're just gonna pour this into the bottom like so. There's gonna be no point I think saving any of this we'll see see what happens maybe save a tiny amount to go on the top I might maybe jinxing myself again we'll see what I have learned about dragon's blood with my particular recipe is that the minute I stop moving that soap that is when it starts to set up so as long as my soap is moving at all times it will stay fluid but as soon as I stop that movement that is when it sets up on me so what I'm going to do <laughs> you watch this won't work I have done this a couple of times now so what I'm going to do is grab my stick blender onto here and as I'm pouring my fragrance I am going to be blending this and as soon as I'm happy with it I'm going to pour it in here really quickly not going to stop moving it I'm not going to clean my stick blender off or anything so like that keep it moving and in to my mold it goes So that is all I'm going to do for the top because literally in the 30 seconds that it took for me to sprinkle that soap over the top, that is set solid. There is no way I can do a spoon top or anything. So I'm not going to wreck this one. I have learned from my past experiences. What I'm going to do is leave this one sit overnight and we'll be back in a moment and I will show you what swirls I got in this, inside this one by using that technique. Okay, we are back to cut into dragon's blood and see how much I've actually managed to tame it. It's looking pretty good on the outside so far. So let's see what swirls we've got. Now this one did get hot. Um, so you can see I've got a fair bit of cracking on the top of this one. But that is just the nature of dragon's blood in my particular recipe. I know some people can soak with it without problems. Of course, Lee over at Wickedly Goods didn't find any issues with it. We tend to have very different experiences with our soaping oils. But we'll take a look inside and we'll see what sort of swirls 
I managed to get using this technique and there is the first bar. So we've got a few gorgeous swirls going through there. It's going to stay a very simple sort of style of bar just simply because that is all I can manage with this fragrance. It literally sets up within 30 seconds of the soap stopping moving as you saw while I was doing this. Really love how it's come out with all those sort of delicate swirls in there. Um, if you do want to know of any of those sort of adventures I've had with Dragon's Blood, and I, all I can do in the videos is just laugh because it's just so funny, um, I have left those links up in the top right hand corner so you can go and check them out and just see how disastrous it usually is for me. Looks like this on the colours mainly gone up the side of the bar, but I do have those really gentle delicate swirls. Let's grab... Yeah, you can see more, it's gone up the side, but those first couple of bars had some beautiful swirls in them. But I'm really, really happy with it. It's still got that sort of color in there that people love to see that little bit of swirl and stuff like that. So I'm really pleased. That is how I have learned to work with Dragon's Blood. If anyone else is having similar problems and they just don't want to make a layered soap using it, you can actually try this technique. Here's another one that's got some beautiful colored swirls through them so i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me and watching how i tame this dragon if you did why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below and until the next video comes out i hope you have a good one and i will see you then bye